All right. Last we left off, the party was headed on their way to the garden in the wagon. Any thoughts passing through their minds as the bugaloo go down the road? Arden is studying his spells for the day. Who's feeling like they'd like to be in the front of the wagon right now? Darren, Darren. Yeah, you gonna take that set down there, Sammy? <laughs> There's like four different ways to take that. Or you can just, you know, let Darren drive. Just let the cool one drive. Okay. Do I have to roll for that? Yes. This, you know, this honestly seems like a little unrealistic that you always need to roll right. It's like every time you get in the car, you could just, there's a 5% chance that you could just crash it into so the garage. We didn't, we didn't check That's the oil. True. We haven't checked the engines. <laughs> Got a loose bearing on the wheels. What'd you? It's a 21. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and you already remember uh, made the bugaloo happy, so. Bada. It's almost guaranteed that it did. Oh, already. yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, well, you don't have to roll for that. I already okay. remember from last session. Oh, okay, okay. That's, That's what I'm saying. It's a good thing. Yeah, Just in case thing. you're curious. It's a great thing. <laughs> oh, why? What did you roll in your hypothetical roll? Ah, getting it out of the way. <laughs> you rolling out your 20 is missing a zero there. I'm going to charge up all my dice. Just channeling the astral connection. I'm just turning them all to 20. And so what are you doing, Bada? I don't know. What am I, I don't know. What, what, what level are you traveling? Is there anything Bada would be up to? We're not going, it's not that far. Like, it's like, down to... I think it said it was like an hour, right? Yeah, it's about an hour or so. Oh, okay. Okay, so what's Zaz up to? Zaz is doing push-ups and crunches. In the moving cart? Yes. Okay. It's a challenge. If you do it wrong, you hurt your back. Don't do it at home. God, it's so nice to meditate, but he's doing physical things. Flump, ah! flump, flump, flump. <laughs> you never did put ranks in a concentration, did you? I did. I did put a rising concentration. I'll meditate. <laughs> <laughs> concentration check there, Bada. I was gonna like there two. <laughs> Another two. If you get enough of those, you can equal I, a 20. I, I feel like this is a theme. <laughs> I don't really do this. No, it's a nine. Ha. Well, Zaz is definitely disturbing your uh, concentration. You're trying really hard, but it's you just can't quite get the thumping out of your head of Exercise on the wagon, along with the wagon going. I'm trying to do good, but just you know, just being distracted. Well, it's just a, no spells today. It's fine. <laughs> on, the, on the plus side, you're keenly aware that there's lots of noise that you're not normally tuned into. The more you try to concentrate, the more every irritating distraction becomes obvious. Okay. Look at the wagon wheels when we get back. <laughs> I think we got our, pulled a lemon. Our brand new wagon. <laughs> yeah, our brand new wagon. Sam, what are you going to be up to? You say there's a bunch of rhythmic noises happening? Yeah. Sam's going to sing to it. Like, <laughs> That's just, weird. Just lightly. Okay. You know, like singing to yourself. You never just... Oh, you're not... You're not. We're not going the wheels on the bus go round and round. No. Here. No, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you never You never just, like, just been doing something and you just start going like... Eh, All right. Just looking out the window? No? Just me? Okay. Bada, this might be part of the reason this you're distracted. Reason you're distracted. <laughs> Everyone's looking at Sam weird. <laughs> I'm, I am... Buried in my spells at the moment. Just for the benefit of the doubt. Oh my god. What did you get? 31. Very distracting. <laughs> Catchy even. Okay, okay. What if it was soothing? What if it was an inspire competence? <laughs> <laughs> Just make it all work. <laughs> It could be until we need it later, and then, <laughs> and then I want it back. <laughs> oh, I thought you had like a bunch of those a day. It's only. I think it's like your bard level. Well, I don't. I don't trust. I don't trust God. Oh. So, so, so daily uses are something I don't want to frivolously use. Welcome to my fucking life. My I, class feature I is know. per day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even hey, Theron, please make a spot check. Can do seven per day. No, I've closed my eyes. <laughs> Because I, 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 I rolled so well I could have driven with my eyes closed. That's but you I, did uh, chose not to. <laughs> That's pretty good. 17. Theron gets a glint in her eye and sees. Theron, in the far distance you see a spire jutting out of the earth into the sky. A tooth of the dragon. And as you approach this tooth, the surrounding countryside becomes more green and lush. You start seeing fewer weeds, and there's this whiteness in the soil, like flecks. The kind of uh, 
Like somebody had scattered sand over it? Like sand or uh, burned paper. Ash. In and amongst the dirt. And so we're seeing like flowers or like seeing trees? Flowers, grass, trees here and there. It's less of a, it's becoming less of a forest where you are at this point. Having, you're about 45 minutes into your trip. It's been really smooth sailing. It's like, this road matters. We are going to take care of this road. This is a special place. Things are going too well. Is it, aren't you like just looking like a little bit out the window and then you say that kind of thing? Not a, not, that is internal dialogue. <laughs> but I have studying to do, so I'm going to stick with my spell book. He said he wrote it in huge letters in his notebook. <laughs> it's, it's too quiet. <laughs> okay. Um, well, Theron Marks, uh, we, we've got the spire, folks. I'm trying to concentrate. No. <laughs> Not now, Theron. Um, Ar- Arden pokes his head out of his book and says, "How soon till we reach the entrance?" I would say ten to fifteen minutes. All right, uh, full. We don't have steam. Full. You would know what it is, though. I, I probably would. Actually, it's yeah, stupid. you got Atlas. I, well, actually, that in engineering and architecture is one of my best knowledge skills. I have a oh yeah, you could definitely I have a plus seventeen. I I could probably go steampunk if we wanted to. Sam gives a deep, exasperated sigh. You brought it up, <laughs> uh, but yes, drive safe. Um, we don't necessarily know what to expect here. Hopefully, it's a good reception. So, and just to be clear, like we're talking lush, like like. Flowers, very colorful, almost too green for the high elevation that we're in. Like, yeah, we're this in high does, elevation cold, right? This wouldn't happen without deliberate effort. There's lots of color flowers. The bushes are well kept. So it's cold, but we're, it looks like we're in something like springtime. Yes. Neat. Terraforming. Hey, Bata, are there any special rules we need to follow here? Special rules? At the spire. We were told it was a grave, right? Yeah. I believe Sam is asking if there is something we should do to perhaps not commit heresy by your faith. Just don't drive, don't destroy the gardens and... Theron, right check. <laughs> <laughs> no, I rolled well. That's a survival check as night falls. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's, you know, don't destroy anything, I guess. I don't know what... what okay. Be mindful of the area we don't know if you guys have particular rituals like where i come from uh where you bury the dead is considered to be a uh, hollow ground so you don't you don't set foot on a grave ever unless you deserve who's resting beneath it oh i see no none of that we don't have such concerns here okay just as long as we we don't bust up the decorations it's fine yeah I'm sorry, that sounded really insensitive. No. <laughs> uh, Theron, just upon hearing that discussion, just like looks for gravestones. Do I have to like roll for that? Theron, you see no gravestones here. Okay. Just tons of teeming natural vegetation. Not enough to get in the way of the cart, but enough to cause it to slow as you get closer and closer it's to the like spire. It's like encroaching onto the road, like... Is it getting narrower or something? As you're getting to the final leg of it, the road is disappearing and becoming covered by the grass and the flowers and the shrubbery. And you are entering into more of like a park sort of setting. Super weird. And you did have a pretty good spot check. There's some weird refractions of light dancing here or there as you uh, get closer to the spire. Like it's being bent at weird sharp angles. Like the light directly between my eyes and the spire? Yeah, the, like there's pockets of geometry that bend light in strange ways so it doesn't arrive where you think it should. So there's spots that are dark and spots that are much brighter. So hmm. it looks strange if you view it at the right angle. Yes. You okay. ever are unimpeded, you aren't stopped from approaching. Like, are we, like, there and we get off now or something? You could in, like, a minute or two. So if you've got anything you wanted to say or do before then. No. All right. You'll be able to pull up right next to the spire. There and pulls it up nice and calmly and hops off. Are the little white ash flecks still around on the ground? Mm-hmm. Um, there he- just crouches down and, like, picks one up. 
What does it do between her fingers? It just spreads. Like ash? Mm-hmm. Oh. Seems like it's a really regular part of the soil, especially near the spire. And the ground here is warmer than what from where you started the town. It's still cold. The ground itself is more like body... No, I shouldn't say body temperature. It's more like... Like... I want to say like 60 degrees. Lukewarm? Luke, the temperature of the soil in the valley. Or, you know, sea level. What we're used to, perhaps. Yeah. Quantifying that. Yeah. It's not like you're in, like, the winter of Alaska. Yeah, okay. So we're talking... Cold. Springtime soil. There we go. Springtime soil. Are we talking like cold ground or cold air and warm ground? Is yes. Is like causing steam? Were there pockets of readily available moisture? It might. Well, this is strange. I'm going to put my head out the wagon. Are there any people from the Order around this fire? Spot check. Mm. Boy, boy. My eyes are very closed, don't I? Did you forget to open them from your meditations? <laughs> Ten. No infiltrator mages in sight. Okay. Well, Theron's going to also look for entrances and or some sort of tents set up around this thing. You okay. Know? Yeah. Eleven. Better. Seems like there aren't any, like, places to stay or, like, tents for rituals or anything set up here. No, no structures or encampments outside the spire correct less of a pl- pro- probably be- it's probably less of a place for staying and hanging out and more of a place for we come and did thing and left oh so we don't people of Bismuthum just don't bum around a spire for kicks uh, this isn't the mall food court no <laughs> <laughs> which is odd i mean i would just the way you've described it, it feels kind of not unbearable to be there <laughs> you know it seems kind of comfy if you ask no. me well it's you know, holy ground. Right. But uh, seeing as the cart has stopped, Arden will snap his book shut and exit the carriage. I'm sorry, you said I didn't see any entrance? Uh, no, you did not see an entrance to the uh, spire. Sam will make sure he has his spear and follow Arden. <laughs> he stole it again! <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure to make sure to bring it. All right, seeing as though there is no people from the Order, I'm going to... Get up on top of the wagon cart and see if I can spot a guardian. Maybe outside of the spire, by any chance. No. Face? Is that face no, you, you don't see a guardian. It's, it's something was, worse. What do I see? <laughs> spire! You see a beautiful field, blessed by the ashes of those that came before. Yes, that's what I'm used to seeing. Okay. So, Bada? Yeah? How does one enter the spire or speak to the guardian? I assume us being the only vessel approaching would probably have some sort of greeting. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping we would catch them outside, but I guess not. Do we knock on the (laughs) door? (laughs) Spire looming over. We could try the same ritual we used to get into the swamp spire. Well, that... Just because you have a key to the house doesn't necessarily mean we should barge in. <laughs> Perhaps we should try to get in touch with the Guardian before we force our ways in. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like this is the kind of land where you could actually just walk into somebody's house. This isn't, correct me if I'm wrong, Bada, but this is a little more than somebody's house, right? <laughs> I mean, it is. You are right, but Sam is also correct as well. We can just... Yeah, you don't have to knock at a church. In. Oh, that's not going to upset the guardian? No. Oh, okay. You just said before that, like, only privileged spiritual leaders are able to enter the spire. So that's not us. Well, like, the deeper sections of the spire. Oh, but anybody can just hang around the foyer if they want. <laughs> well, nobody can <laughs> just... Gift shop. We, gift have, shop. we have reason to be in there. Is it the gift shop? No, it's not the gift shop. But there is a gift shop. There is no <laughs> do, do they have little bada plushies? Well, uh, perhaps. Kind of, but perhaps you could instruct us on how to. I mean, I, I guess Sam, if you want to force the door open, I must have a headache or something. Yeah, I couldn't concentrate on the wagon in the wagon. So yeah, uh, the 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 uh, panting, the thumping, and that jingle. <laughs> <laughs> Some light poetry set to the thumping. But no, it's, it's walk up to the spire. 
or Arden shrugs and walks to the wall of the spire. Arden, please make a spot check. <clears throat> I s- oh, right. I don't have spot. Uh, so that is a 15. As you walk toward the spire and Bod is within your sight, you go about five steps and then they become this like distorted, broken glass geometry in front of you. Like their body just warps in your line of sight. And as you take another step, it starts going back to normal. I'm sorry, what, what is normal? Normal Bada. Oh, <laughs> Bada is. Okay, I thought you were talking about the spire. Oh, no, no, this is Bada getting all weird. As I'm getting closer to the spire. Yes. And then Bada will be going back to normal as you take further step forward. So perhaps like I'm passing through a barrier of some sort. Maybe. Frustratingly ambiguous. Um, is there, does anything on the wall of the spire change? No. No. Okay. Just because I like being disruptive. Oh, natural one on a will to disbelieve. Never mind. <laughs> you believe everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. Spire magic. <laughs> it's like, ah, spire stuff. Uh, well, mm-hmm. it could give me an illusion. I was just checking. Can Theron approach the wall of the spire? Yes. Does Theron he... does that and puts her paw on it. As you approach, you see the same distorted figure that Arden saw. And as you keep going, it disappears. And Bada goes back to being Bada instead of like a destroyed Picasso explosion. Is, is it just Bada? Just Bada. What does the spire feel like? Cold and stony. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. I can buy it. It's not goopy. I'm going to grab sauce. Okay. I'm not going to leave him out, not, not gonna leave him out here. Sam just looks sad and just is like, I guess no song. <laughs> Let's... And walks forward. <laughs> you said no song. Do you, you you weren't singing, so I went for it. Well, if I remember right, we have to like get in a circle and do like this whole like holding hands. Oh, I think we're and... assuming there's no door. Um. Well, at, at, that was also magically aided to teleport us into the spire versus using an entrance. We could yes. sort of do something. Maybe like ask Bada if there's a door. We have. Did he say if there was a door or not? Not not exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, is there a door, Bada? Are you asking me a character? <laughs> yes. Did you just didn't you just walk in there? No, I just touched the spire. Oh, walk in there. Like push I, push wait. yourself into the rock face. Is <laughs> yeah. that what you're saying? Like there it feels in front of her like it's a wall. Yeah, yeah, it's a wall. And she, as she's feeling it, it's like you want me to walk into this? Like I can touch the wall. You're not picking on Theron, right? I mean, <laughs> kind of fun. Hey, you heard it here, folks. Bada said it is kind of fun. <laughs> and then he out of character. Out of, out of character. <laughs> um, I thought it was charming. <laughs> Arden will put a hand on the wall as well and say, may we enter, please? <laughs> Theron <laughs> does laugh. That. <laughs> that exactly Diplomacy check. <laughs> Five. <laughs> can you can you role play that? <laughs> <laughs> Can, can, can we come inside, please? Ugh, can we come inside, please? Yeah. The spire does not respond to your request. Theron pushes her paw harder against the spire? Are you you're just trying to push your way in? I mean, I'm not really being told what to do otherwise. All right. Um, control shape. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's messy. You're going to make me pancake? <laughs> and then suddenly Arden is gone. Oh, no, actually more like Theron turns into goop, or Theron's bones are outside of her body now. Um, These are all acceptable. That is a 13. Very low roll, but I'm glad I took points over that. You'd feel a resonance with the spire, and it does feel to you like there is an interest somewhere on the side here. Gotta oh, keep just looking a, for it. a feeling? Yeah, like... Do I have to, like... Go off the wall, like just walk around. That's kind of the vibe you're getting. Um, oh, oh, right. No, they talked to each other before. Okay. Ar- Arden adjusts himself, puts both hands on the wall again, and says, My name is Arden Renshaw. I was sent here by Elder Perkis to speak with the guardian of this spire. Diplomacy check. <laughs> eh. Ten. All right. <laughs> no response. Deafening silence. Sam snickers. Oh. Theron, as you're 
Are you doing your little mosey around for I, the... I guess I'm if sidestepping you... and feeling along the wall. As something hears Arden's request, the wall in front of you starts folding in like little bricks, pushing in and opening up. Like I'm pushing them in? Yeah. And they're just like uh, a bunch of bricks chained together. Like they've got iron bars in between them and like folding inward, opening up the spire to you. Oh, okay. I guess I push it open. You may now enter the spire. The door closes behind you. It might, yeah. Lada, is this is this is this the way to enter? I mean, is it okay to to go through this? He's gonna grab there in his well as well as saws and just walk in there. Oof! Ar- like am Ar- I under your arm? Yeah. At this okay. Point. Uh, Arden trails behind. Sam Sam follows, uh, grumbling. Would have been more fun to sing. Oh, you'll you'll get a chance. Literally nothing was stopping you, Sam. <laughs> so I was like, it would have been more fun to sing. So we had to we had to do the whole ritual and you know get in positions and. But you already know that we don't need to do all that. Well, Sam, the uh, the other spire is a little more broken. The other spire was sunken under hundreds of feet of mud. No, the one that you guys really want to go to for some reason after this one. Sam just shrugs wide with his arms out like, oh, but it would have been fun. <laughs> uh, tell we'll let go of Theron and Sauce. Oof. Not dropping you on the floor. Oh. Zaz was prepared to just try and catch themselves. <laughs> okay, now I'm tempted to like just you know pretend drop sauce on the floor to see if he's okay. He's tumble ready. check. Yeah, they land on their feet. Okay, they do the three point hero landing, just like <laughs> yeah, they do. Why isn't that tall? <laughs> I mean, like four foot drop. I mean, Zaz is only a little bit like they're like four foot some <laughs> thing, that five foot cool. something. Ooh, I'm five just... feet exactly. Ah, oh, they're like five two. Theron taught him that looking cool was the most important part of an adventure. It's intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it can be. So everyone's good with the placements? Sure. Yeah. Let's let this trap spring. What? <laughs> <laughs> so the two circular um, sections in front of you are the walls that have folded in and uh, wrapped themselves up as you've been walking along from your entrance. They have stopped here. On the far end of the room, there are stone carvings that represent the history of Bismatum in a very general sense. They didn't go into super big detail here. They only have so much wall. And there is a special emphasis given to the purpose of the garden outside, where the members of Bismatum, many, many different animals, etc., grow from the soil into the and go through their life walking forward and then turn back to the soil. So is this an imagery depiction? Yes, this is an imagery depiction. A mural. Mural. So so it's open to a lot of interpretation. Yes. <laughs> Great. What would anyone think of it differently than the way it was intended? Uh, As God shifts eyes. his eyes all over the place. <laughs> yeah, you tell me, voice in the sky. <laughs> Nope. Does that feel all good over there? That feels all good. Until the heresy <laughs> happens. <laughs> what? <laughs> this place, however, feels a bit empty. The walls on the inside where the mural stands have bits of light that come from cracks and segments in the wall illuminating the chamber. Right, and the mural is like actually in the wall. It's not like a hanging rug or something. Right, so. it's a part of the structure. Okay. Uh huh. Nobody there to greet us? Spot check. Is that everybody who rolls a spot check? If they're looking. Uh, 11. I'm not looking very hard. We're all looking. Not very hard. 19. Bottles looking hard. Darren? Oh, do you want to? 13. Ah. peepers? I had to figure out where it was. The mural's very distracting. Three. The mural's very, very distracting. distracting. <laughs> it's a good mural. She's it's like, a good mural. Oh my god. It makes so much sense now. <laughs> Zaz is just going to voice an observation. The light's weird in here. Theron quickens her pace to go towards the mural, but, like, stops halfway between Bada and the mural to, like, look back at Bada for any sort of reaction of, like, am I doing bad or something? Well, if this is a horror movie, this is when the monster jumps you. Oh, my gosh, he's fine. <laughs> so when you look back at Bada and uh, Zaz, they are wholly distorted. Both of them? Yeah. Okay, Theron does not, pro- like, just stops and <laughs> <laughs> <is> like... <laughs> 
Do Are you guys still there? Like, what does it look like? It's Picasso? Like An exploded, like, shattered Picasso painting of Bada and Zaz. Yeah, they're just stares with their mouth agape. Like, like we're looking at, like, a broken glass mosaic. Yes. Do we see that of Theron? You don't. So I look insane. There's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Theron looks uh, concerned, aghast. Yeah. Out just, of sorts. <laughs> which will be very weird to everybody. It's like a... Are, are you guys okay? Are Are you okay? Oh, and I guess, like... If I see them move, it just looks fucking even stranger. Yes. <laughs> Bada's is going to walk over towards Theron to make sure that she's okay. As Bada walks towards you, it's like the painting. this painting opens up and Bada walks through. And you can see all the way to Arden and Sam. And Zaz is the only one who's still distorted. God. Okay. But Bada becomes normal looking yes. as he approaches. Party? The room you're standing in over here becomes better illuminated as uh, Bada walks forward. You mean the light's peeking through? It's being refracted more fully to the rest of the chamber from the uh, mural section. As Bada approaches, <laughs> she's uh, Theron says, like, I, is anyone seeing anything weird? Because you look, you all look very weird, and Zoss looks, I can't even, Zoss looks like a... Bunch of colors. So then look towards Zoss. Zoss looks warped and broken. That's yeah, fine. This is fine. Bada is clearly sweating. <laughs> we need heard of that. <laughs> like, <laughs> just Bada. This is like, this is oh, fine. Oh, Bada's like, is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was not referencing the meme. No. No. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I now want art of that. Like a little, just cute little thing of. <laughs> With, with, like, shattering glass all around him instead of fire. <laughs> like, the warped Zaz and uh, Bada's like, it's fine. There and, like, Ar- Arden will walk over to Zaz and examine him. So, as uh, Arden walks over to Zaz, they start to warp. And as they get into the very same space, they're completely intermingled, broken on each other. And you're seeing this, like, amalgam monster. Just Theron and Bada. Sam, you still look normal. So Theron comes up behind Bada, puts a paw on his shoulder and looks over and she goes, you're telling me that's, they're fine. Well, and points over to them. Just walk back to them. Theron, we're, we're fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Then turns back to look at the mural. Okay. Well, Sam's just going to blink and say, well, you've always looked weird, Theron, but nothing's different right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Sam! These laughs. laughs. That was in character. <laughs> Arden will not laugh, but contemplates it. <laughs> well, if nothing seems to be amiss, Arden will catch up to the gang 20 feet in front of him. <laughs> right, from your angle, Zaz does look weird. Oh. Oh, okay, that's that strange illusion I saw before. It was doing a Tabata when I first approached the spire. Eh. <sighs> It didn't have good results before, but let's... <laughs> Get all your bad rolls out Spire of the way. For 14 to disbelieve the illusion? No success. No success. I'm not even sure it's an illusion. Magic. Well, Ard- Arden will internally just assume that it's greater magic than he can wield. So um, everyone's just, like, looking concerned at Sauce. Yeah. So just, like, I, it just looks fine from over here. Sauce, could you par- perhaps come a little closer, please? They come up next to Theron, and as they uh, approach, like Bada, they begin to take on their normal shape, and the distortion is gone. There, there seems to be some sort of strange layered illusory barriers. Oh, I saw it on the outside of the spire. I, I can only assume that, judging by the, the layout of this foyer, that they are some sort of protection. But uh, they seem harmless. I think it is strictly visual. All right. It's only a little concerned, but like check himself, like making sure it is all visual, like patting himself down. Like, he never thought about this like before. Like it could be something other than visual. Kind of question. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. What do you mean? It could be more than just visual. <laughs> well, Pop Bada is double checking just to make sure. Um, meanwhile, on the other end of the hallway, evil Bada <laughs> from the mirror world appears. 
Well, intrigued by this mirage, Theron approaches the mural as before, but more like looking around, looking for more of this weird, like... Yeah, she just cautiously approaches because her attention is half split between the thing she's going towards and, like, seeing more of these, like, weird anomalies. As you approach, the mural feels present to you in more than a physical sense. Like, if you reach out to it, it'll say something to you. Well, a bit distractedly, Theron puts her paw up to it, and but realizes she probably should look back and see if this is okay with Bada, if he's even paying attention. But before she touches it, reaches out and then hesitates and looks back. Oh, Bada's still finding himself. I'm like making sure that he, uh, you, you got like a little nightmare attention. scenario put him by, you know. Hey, Sam, perhaps you would like to get a little closer in case we get cut off from each other? Why would we get cut off from each other? Sam I don't from... know. But, <laughs> but Sam ultimately decides a torch is not necessary. Okay. And walks up to the mural the whole way. All right. As Sam walks up, they briefly become very distorted. Like more so than the others? Yes. Like you're taking up four times the space. Next to me or like when he walked through the... On their way. So, Bada, when you're checking yourself, you see, like, Sam walking up, and then they, like, take up 20 by 20 feet of space being warped and shattered all over the place. And you see that. And then they just become normal as they, like, get next to you and walk further. Okay, okay. And uh, I guess I'm guessing you missed the whole Theron looking for you part. Yes. And Arden. While everyone's doing these things, what are you up to? Well, I guess if Sam decides to join us, I'll... Harden will also approach the mural, and I'll just assume that if we don't have any bizarro visual effects, possibly slap a knowledge history to try and decipher what exactly it's... All right. So you've got two people approaching it. Do you proceed, or do you kind of wait, or what do you want to do with all that? Oh, from touching it? Yeah. You're saying, like, I, I'm getting a gut feeling, like, touching this would do something? Yeah. Touch it. <laughs> Is that that's the voice in my head? I guess. But it's nothing talking to me. It's just my instinct is it's telling me. It's your natural instinct. Approach Theron. Touch it. Touch the mural. Touch the mural. Theron. Okay. Bring well, she's blood. just gonna let like one of her claws touch it. Just after not getting any response from looking back. Kill your friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> wow. When you touch the mural, you feel a tenseness in the muscles around your neck. And your vision distorts quickly. And the image of the mural stands before you many times larger. Five, six, seven times larger than it is in the room. And you see different people going through this cycle of rising from the dirt, going through their childhood, middle age, getting old and then returning to the earth. However, when they return to the soil, you see their body degrade, and as it hits that middle point, as if we're going through a full circle, you see their soul dip down into a bed of crystals. And then the parts of that body go back up and become a new person. And you see that repeating and repeating and repeating. Am and I watching repeating. a video, yes, essentially? Yes, this, this is an interactive is, exhibit. It's an, <laughs> It's being given to you directly to your brain. Does pulling my hand away do anything? Yep. You're pulled directly out of it. Okay. <laughs> abruptly. <laughs> um, and you were seeing people. Yeah, okay. As opposed uh, to, like, the vague humanoid shape on the wall. <laughs> They weren't all bears, right? No. <laughs> Theron, in fact, they, only a few of them. Like, it's a lot of different species you saw. I would assume that would be a little bit overwhelming. Probably. <laughs> Please make a control shape. <laughs> Shit. But you knew in your heart of hearts they were all named Reginald. <laughs> Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> Fredrickson. <laughs> Gordon Reginald Fredrickson. Total of 16 for control shape. The stress of the experience weighs on your body briefly, but you're able to maintain your form. It seems like that sort of experience can distract your brain, your mind enough to where keeping your regular shape becomes a question. Kind of like deciding you want to breathe and then to, to try and stop thinking about it again. Are you trying to suggest that touching the spire like this is a risk? 
It could be. Oh. <laughs> I guess a comparison point would be when I tried to touch the dragon's tear and commune with it and how it kind of shut my brain down for a few seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Theron stumbles back and is like breathing heavily and, and sort of falls on her butt. And. <laughs> but gracefully. I could. No, not gracefully. <laughs> Oh my god, Theron, are you okay? What's going like, on? It just shakes her hand a bit, the one that was touching it. What happened? I, when I touched it, like, all of this, and she's waving her paw in front of her, like, all of this was moving. Like, I could see this happening. Is, Bada, is this supposed to happen? Like, what the mural's depicting? Yeah. So, like, if any of you guys touch, this is what happens. Oh, that. Yeah. Well, I mean... Oh. What do you see? Um, <laughs> like, well, all of this stuff up here, and she points to the mural. She's like, it was like moving and happening right in front of me, and it was like larger. Oh, well, Arden shrugs and cautiously places a hand on the mirror. <laughs> Let me introduce you to this new concept called the silent film. <laughs> Please make a history check. As for silent film, <laughs> no, no, for silent me. films will be, will be developed in the next two hundred and seventy-five years. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you like get a net twenties. You you learn the future. <laughs> Jeez, garbage rolls today. Uh, but I have nothing but knowledge skills. Where's history? Fifteen. So this looks like the normal cycle of life. Uh, the significance it has to Bismatum is a deeper topic. Perhaps a religion? Yes. Well, okay, still rolling garbage. I'm going to switch dice here after this. <laughs> so, so Arden's deep in thought. Mm-hmm. Sam's just going to touch it. That's another 15. <laughs> um, Specifically, he's going to like touch one of the one of the people like huh? decomposing. Oh, oh, see, that part... Well, now you've done it. <laughs> so... Sam decomposes. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pensive. <laughs> what, like a will save or fortune save to just fall into a coma? <laughs> okay. So, if you're, as you're trying to wreck your brain thinking about this, and Sam is going through their own thought process, and then they're looking down towards, like, the wall itself is half of that circle. So, you both are going to notice the very light. Not, I'd say etching, on the ground of the rest of the cycle. Like we're standing on it? Yes. Huh. Where the soul, hypothetical rib of the soul, is falling into a bed of crystals. It's very difficult to see this, particularly when you're approaching with the distortion of the light. One might assume that it's a reference to Whisper Stones. Yeah, I actually did that uh, 15 on religion. With the 15, that could absolutely be a reference to Whisper Stones. Fascinating. And the endless cycle of life. But me touching it didn't do anything. Sam touching it didn't do anything weird. Um, In your case, it's a different situation. <laughs> I feel like we're playing with a bear trap here. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did you touch? Oh, okay. Hi. I, I thought. <laughs> Theron, hi, hello. I am the bear. <laughs> but, but, but it's my bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> hi. What? Oh, hi? Okay. Yeah. Uh, nothing happens. It's cold stone. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold stone, and you're not really feeling anything. Do you look like depressed? That <laughs> I'm just going to nod and be like, you are special, Theron. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I guess, does this have the same weird connectivity feeling that I did when I interacted with the uh, dragon's tear before? Or actually anything while I was incorporeal within the spire it has a similar feeling to the uh suits of armor oh this is a device arden is going to oh boy what's a nice way to do that without being forceful um try to will a door to the next chamber open i mean if it's a total whiff and i'm just off target that's perfectly fine concentration check oh that's actually something I'm good at Hey, and I rolled over 10. That's a better dice. 26. 26. So. The floor vanishes. We all fall. <laughs> <laughs> the room loses its gravity, and you begin floating up to the ceiling. It 
begins to open the same way this you entered this room upward. Oh, so the ceiling's unfolding. Yes. The sky is opening and you are ascending. Oh, I was expecting so, I have to wait till I died for that. Nice knowing you. Goodbye. Bye. Like all of us, the, the gravity in this chamber is completely gone. So Sam gives a yelp. Got it. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I think I got it. <laughs> So there's 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 a yelp and Sam tries to grip the walls, but they're smooth. The walls are smooth and segmented and folding away from you. And squirms and kicks and roll like actual right. zero gravity. Yeah, like we can't propel ourselves anymore. Zero gravity, but you are floating upwards. Oh, so more like altered gravity. More being. like altered gravity, but no amount of flailing and 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 reaching and and butterfly strokes. Very very ineffective. <laughs> This. No swimming. No comical swimming. Yes. Comical swimming will be I, funny to watch. I was avoiding trying to go doggy style. Cough. Wow. <laughs> Are we in like a shaft? Yes. It's, wow. uh, you're in this like shaft that keeps extending upwards as you float. Okay. Am I. Is Theron close enough to just at least push herself or get closer to a wall as it goes up? Or am I just stuck in the middle and with no way to like. Unless you have a alternate form of propulsion, you're going to find that very difficult. Form of propeller. <laughs> <laughs> make some planes. Make, it, make it one of those little caps on oh your head. God. Get to grow wings. Just stuck flailing in the middle. Also, doggy right. paddle. Okay. Doggy paddle. Doggy paddle. <laughs> that, that is what I meant. All right. As you rise up. The ceiling ceases to open, and you find yourselves floating briefly in the open air of a chamber with another mural on the far end. The floor closes in behind you, and the gravity distortion ends. And like, you plop to the ground. I was like, is it like an ends or like a... Oh, it's like a ends. Oh, so we all, we all fall. Yes. From, from how high? Oh, you know, three feet or so. Oh. oh, not terrible. Okay. I rolled a 15 for tumble. I think that's landing, right? Yeah, you could do the splits and land if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Is that dex? Yes. Sam rolled an 18 for tumble. I will assume that I landed safely and just not roll. I'll do the same. <laughs> Zaz can't resist. Zaz does the splits. They didn't mean to, but they're doing their best to make it look like they, d they didn't mean to. <laughs> oh my God. They're like, mm, I did it. Sam does the whole thing with, like, landing on one foot and then pirouetting to both feet. Because Monkey looks cooler than Theron for the Whoa. first time in his life. <laughs> Theron looks over and gives a little nod. You're all right, kid. Little golf clap. Not even a golf clap. <laughs> Jesus. Merciless. The edges of the chamber... Chamber? <laughs> <laughs> bend around. The more you look at them, the more it seems like you're going to walk into a circular room, even though you're in a long, elongated one. Theron pipes up after landing. Bada, is this anything to be concerned about? It feels like we're... Is this a regular thing? Well, it's been a while since I've been in here. That's not an answer. <laughs> <laughs> All that talk of the deeper chambers only being for the people of the higher. Yeah. If Theron, if Theron looked at you, would you look concerned? A little. <laughs> okay. Theron keeps a paw on her sword, Bree. Why? Would, would, why? She's just concerned. I'm not that concerned. But the whole edge of the room is like one giant shattering mirror thing. Like a warped space. Like if you ran right into the wall, you'd probably expect to be just walking right back in a, like a half circle into the room. Kind of like if you're going through a hedge maze and every like 15 feet, you feel like you're just going in a circle is kind of what your vision does when you look into the walls. Okay. Theron approaches the next mural and expects to be told what it is. Well, now that the party's looking at it. Sam follows. Ah. Anyone else just following to the mural? Uh, yeah, Arden will. We we have like a group here that would do great at visiting museums. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Theron is the jerk that touches all the art. <laughs> Actually, last museum we were in, technically we did touch all the art and kept it for ourselves. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, 
The mural displays soil from the ground, the garden below, a spire extending out of the ground, and white flecks falling like rain into the earth. And then above it, another picture of bird of fire rising up and looking over the spire and its garden. And then another of it rising into the clouds and its wings extending over the whole planet. And at the very base of all of this is that same clutch of crystals. Okay. Theron looks it over and approaches the Merle and just keeps her like paw like mere millimeters away from the surface, but gets it really mm. close. Okay. Seeing t- if she feels anything. Yeah, about the positions are in. D- oh, <laughs> oh, wow. What? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It's the gentle tap. All right, like this time the whole like last time I just touched a claw to it. Uh huh. This is like full palm. <laughs> Your face is just pushed like, into <laughs> it. Uh huh. <laughs> Heck, I mean, you want to roll to see if you actually push me so I have to have both hands pushed against it? I rolled a twelve. Do I have to like roll that, against that? I guess so. For that'll be strength. So that's like a sixteen. What is this a balance? Uh, for you, it's going to be a strength check. Fifteen. <laughs> cool. Four. <laughs> cool. And I have to roll one thing over here. Okay. Well, how hard am I pushed against this wall? <laughs> so uh, the shove is completely by surprise, and uh, balancing against the wall is the natural instinct. So you, you definitely you hard. grab onto it. Full okay. On. Two full palms on the. the yeah. The, the only thing roll. I can offer you is a tumble check. <laughs> and yeah, you. The 21. Perfect. You're going to end up making contact with the mural at its base. Like not on the picture or just? Oh, on the picture. This is a three section mural. So oh. this kind of determined where you where? landed. <laughs> what is the base again? The base is the rain of ashes into the soil, enriching the world. Prepare to be incinerated. <laughs> <laughs> you find yourself in a... Before this happens, I at least utter, like, bah. (laughs) (laughs) You find your mind ripped away from the spire into an open field extending out and in a new rural distance past your point, your vision. There's ash falling from the sky. It smells really smoky here. And... As you wait what feels like a long time, fire erupts from the ground and extends into the sky. And then great burning wings extend over and spread, blotting out and evaporating the clouds as it extends far past your vision. And then you're back. Um, Okay, is there any like ill effect or Um, just the shock? Shock. Okay. Also, please roll a change shape, control control shape. shape. So glad I put those points in. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) Mm. More points in the future, though. Still not bad. 14. Ah, you're able to hold on to yourself. You are surprised, shocked, and what happened? Yeah, there it is. uh... Especially that whole losing balance suddenly. That was strange. So you saw and, uh, something, didn't you? Yeah, and while you saw yeah, something... Yeah, what did you guys see? What did yeah, they see? While, uh, while you were experiencing that, everybody else saw Bada just push Theron into the stone. But Arden is going to give Bada the what the fuck did you just do look. He's going to do a little, str- going to do a little struggle at Arden. Sam, you saw that too. You were right there. <laughs> Sam just shakes his head and grabs Theron's shoulder and tries to pull her back. Um, How long am I? You are... Because I was there for a long time. In right. your, yes, in your mind, you were there for a long time. In the outside world, you were there for about three seconds. Enough time to fall down, hit, and get pulled back up. Okay. Just be like, uh, what, what possessed you to do such a thing, Bada? Aaron, what do you see? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> you saw something. Sam looks offended. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, like, a huge... You said bird, right? Mm-hmm. Made of fire. Like, a huge bird made of fire that, like, parted the clouds and... There was ash falling everywhere, and... Oh, I've been going about this the wrong way. Hold on, let her finish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's, I mean, and I was... How long? How long was I... Like a second or two? Wow. Okay. I was... That was not seconds for me. 
Yeah, it looked like there was just ash falling from the sky and a bird coming in, parting the clouds, and a lot of fire. <laughs> okay. No, that's actually really good information. Arden, I guess, is going to touch the a similar spot to where Theron touched. All right. And as the vision is unfolding, unless I get something different. Concentration check. Ooh. Yeah, it's like one of my max skills. That's 30. <laughs> so you're trying to have the same experience that Theron did. I was asking if I was having the same experience that Theron did because I don't know what she experienced. Because I didn't see it. So when you touch the stone, you can feel there's a potential connection there. But you have to reach for it. Yes, and Arden, I guess, will also mentally call out in Ignin, Hello, can you hear me? As you do that, your mind is ripped away to the field of ash, and you experience the same fiery bird that Theron did, and extending its wings over the, far beyond where you can see. Arden is going to continue to call out to it in, in, in fire speak. All right. You get back a very short message. There's a little more to this, and there's a little more to all of you. Oh, that's the message? Yep. And you get that back in Ingen. Ignin. 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 <laughs> fire! Do you, do you correct it? <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's, check the notes. Fire, it's Ignin. Somebody yes, type yes, your that. database. Uh, did you just uh, actually this fire? <laughs> <laughs> and what were you doing in that moment? I was just watching Arden. Okay. Their eyes kind of roll up in the back of their head while this is happening. Sam will roll his eyes, too, then. (laughs) 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 All that drama queen. And pull Arden's paw away. All right. You are ripped out of that experience. And uh, you come back to Sam holding your paw and uh, your eyes coming back down from the inside of your head. Well, they normally reside inside of my head, but that's good to know. That was... So there's definitely somebody here. They're being cryptic, but I'm not really sure where to go from here. Arden looks up at the ceiling. Uh, Unless somebody wants to actually speak to us directly. Okay, I suppose not. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so, sorry, so, so, according to our lovely tile map, this mural actually has stuff behind it. So, are you going to poke your head around there, Sam? Yes. All right. There's another mural back there. Oh. Hey, hey, hey Arden. Hey, hey, Sam. There's more back here. Oh, okay. Um, well, oh. And there, too, since you two seem to want to also things. react to these things. Yes. We all uh, go back there. Also, the there was a voice in my experience that said that there is theoretically more to us than we know. I believe. Mm. Zaz, <laughs> fucking Zaz, I'm gonna get a leash for that kid. <laughs> so Zaz is currently trying to walk into the wall, and they're turning back around, getting surprised, and then doing it again. <laughs> Zaz, it's just a magic wall. But if I walk right into it, I, f- I walk out of it. I, Ask Arden. I don't get it. Ask Arden. If you're being compulsed to turn away from it whenever you approach it, then try falling into it. Arden shrugs dismissively. No. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, <laughs> that, that, that's really smart, Arden. I'm going to try that. He just throws himself. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> they, they commence their trials. Zoss is unconscious. Do, do we need to observe <laughs> the results? They fall into it. And as they're falling, they fall in the other direction and plop out the other side. Like gravity shifted. Okay, so we're not allowed to leave this room yet. Well, what pray tell us on the second mural? Third mural. On the third mural, the great bird of fire, there's this three stage of them raising their wings up and... Right above that, where there's another picture above that where their wings are raised, the ashes from the ground coalesce into a singular orb. And then one picture above that, it is shown with fire about it, like it's molten. And it casts light over the whole world. Okay, so they're forging a dragon's tear. Possibly, yes. 
Or do I need to make a knowledge check for that? You already <laughs> did. <laughs> Is it you saying that or just musing on it? No, I'm definitely saying that, but... No, you actually, well, you actually but, said that out no, loud. No. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, of course, it's the forging of a dragon's tear. Mm, yes. <laughs> no, I was just caught up. Which it, it, is that incorrect, Bada? Uh, what? I've got so on. Hey, Bada, you out of your depth? I am out of my depth. We're actually pretty high up. Haha. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you briefly describe the three murals again? So the first mural has the phoenix three stages like raising it's doing like the motion thing you'd see like in a comic book of someone like three arms but they're all the same arm coming up from covering the world into a circular shape and then the next one is the ashes coming up and coalescing there and then they're molten becoming molten with fire into a sphere and casting light over the world Uh, upon upon Arden Remarking on what the the top mural is, obviously no, a pro- no one has a problem with Theron touching it. She touches the top mural. Ah. Fortune save against death. Theron, you're going to be ripped into the world you were before, but much hotter. You're looking down onto this immense expanse of land. And the ashes from it are drifting upward and coalescing into this orb. And from the viewpoint of the back of this phoenix, you're seeing it raise up its wings wide till you can't see the world anymore. And then rise into the circle. And there, a molten sphere of light is forging something from the ashes of the world below and it casts light over the whole planet and then you're gone back into the reality okay doesn't seem like it's much different than what the mural showed me or showed us well i guess if theron's had her turn poking at it then arden will follow suit gotta touch all the pictures in the gallery you'll have the same experience as theron Without a concentration check, by the way. Oh. This feels natural now. Oh, boy. <laughs> They're tuning. Yeah, yeah, this is great. And I didn't even have to die this time. <laughs> oh, my God. Arden, Arden will one, once again call out in Ignin, saying that it's very important that we speak to you. We have an important warning. One of your kind has turned on you. A diplomacy check. Ah! 16. That dice likes you. I guess. <laughs> the Curse of Kurasa is a production of Reno Area Anthropomorphic Arts and Recreation for BLFC 2023. This episode was edited by Desharms Pony and was mixed and mastered by AJ the Ratty. Yuma Quinn is our game master and the voice of Zoss and the NPCs. Arden Renshaw is played by Hawkfeather. Theron Perch is played by Desharm's Pony. Bada Amica is played by Dabbles. Samuel Horstrom is played by Damic Critu. Original music by Fox Amore. You can find more music from Fox Amore at foxamore.bandcamp.com and on Spotify. For more information about BLFC, the theme, and the lore behind your favorite characters and settings, visit goblfc.org. Sixteen. Yeah. Ah, I see. Yes. Six charisma. Processing. Or perhaps we are getting close to closing time. We could stop there if you need time to figure it out. Next time on Curse of Caras. The world is telling you to take a break. Okay, we'll take a break. <laughs> <laughs>